Hey guys, so Azor sent me all their new pedals, um, every single one. So we're gonna unbox them here and take a look at them. So they reached out to me if, like a couple years ago and said, hey, what if we've had more colorful pedals? Do you think we'd sell more pedals? <laughs> and I said, uh, probably. I mean, the pedals they had in the past were kind of just like a one color pedal. And so now they're doing these crazy things. This is called cattle. Cattle fuzz, and so they're doing like a, a like an animal theme. Uh, we'll kind of put these down here so you guys can see them. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so yeah, so cattle fuzz. All right, so there's the cattle fuzz fuzz pedal, and <clears throat> I try to be somewhat. <clears throat> Organized while I do this, but not very organized because um, it's a lot of pedals. All right. <clears throat> All right. This one is the chorus, and it has a goat or a ram on it. You guys can see that. Yeah, that's neat. So, yeah, way more colorful and animal animal style. I don't know. Um, all right, next one is the chicken. The chicken overdrive. The chicken overdrive. It's got a little chicken on there. A little chicken for you guys. You guys are hungry for some fried chicken. All right. So one one thing nice about these Azer pedals is they all come with a little like Velcro thing on that you can stick to the bottom for your pedal boards or like a rubber bottom thing that you can stick to the bottom if you want to just put it on the floor for a grip. All right. Next one is the. So yeah, here's the little uh, Velcro deal. And. Oh, trying to stay organized here. This one is the, it's a unicorn. It's called Overdrive Horse. Overdrive Horse. Overdrive Horse, but it's a unicorn. Hello, focus. All right, so. There it is, Overdrive Horse, unicorn. I think there's 12 of these. We'll see. Okay. Next is the... I gotta get faster at this. Why did that not cut? There we go. Next is the... The bunny compressor. The bunny compressor, guys. The bunny compressor. It's a bunny and it's a compressor. And it's kind of a creepy looking bunny. I will say that. Oh, there it is. The bunny. Whoops. The bunny will come out tomorrow. Compressing your pedals on stage till tomorrow. All right. There's the bunny. I don't know if we're going to fit all 12 on this little chair here I've got. All right, next one is the... I'm already feeling incredibly unorganized here, guys. The next one is the... The Snake Distortion. The Snake Distortion. The Snake Distortion. Distorting like a snake. It's a cobra. Scary. All right. Okay, we got, we got six more. Oh my gosh, this is out of control. Thanks, Azor. All right, so here we go. This is the, this is the Tiger Overdrive, you guys. The Tiger, the Tiger Overdrive. The Tiger Overdrive, the Tiger Overdrive. Overdrive. 
There it is. Tiger Overdrive. Rawr. All right, the next one is the the Roar. I'm guessing this is a tuner because it doesn't say, but it looks like a tuner <clears throat> to me. But it's called the Roar, and it has a I don't know what that is on there. The Roar. Whoops. Let's get this cable out of the way here. The Roar. Yeah, that's a tuner. Okay. So, all right. So then we have. Good on you for Az good on you, Azer, for doing the tuner. Azor, Azor, I don't know how to say it. I've never even talked to these people. They just email me and they send me pedals. Okay. Next one. It's a lot of freaking pedals. This is the dog. This is the dog distortion, you guys. The dog. The dog distortion. Why can I not focus? There we go. All right, so this is, here's the dog distortion. It's got a dog. And it's distorting. It's a distorting dog. We're gonna put that right there. Okay. Three more guys, three more, three more. Three more pedals, three more pedals. Here we go. Here we go. Three more pedals. All right, so this one is the, this one is the Dragon Reverb. It's a Dragon Reverb, you guys. We're just gonna do it like, we're not gonna show them the other way. We're just gonna show you like this. Dragon Reverb, Dragon Reverb, there it is. All right, put it right there on top of that one. Two more, two more pedals, two more pedals. This next one is the, this is the, is that a mouse? I can't even tell. This is just a delay. It doesn't say the name of the animal on it, but it kind of looks like a mouse. I don't know. Here you go. You guys, you guys be the judge of what that is. But that's a delay pedal. Right there it goes. All right, we got one more. Let's see what this one more is gonna be. This one more pedal from Azor. The last one of 12. They're actually boxed really nicely. Like the box is actually really, like the box is actually really high quality compared to what they used to ship them in. So I don't know if you guys can, they just kind of like unfold like that and they're kind of like the cardboard's nice and it folds back up. It doesn't really close after you untape it. So I guess I probably shouldn't have cut the tape, but if you have them stacked, it'll probably stay close. All right, this one says it's called the monkey. So let's see what we have here. Let me pull it out. The monkey. The monkey. It's the monkey Leon drive. So I guess like they have a pedal called the Leon drive, which they've already done. And this is just a different version of it. Um, I will say about these new pedals, they're a little bit bigger and they feel a lot more heavy duty and the knobs feel better. The switches feel maybe about the same, I don't know, but they're heavier pedals and they're a little bit bigger, but they're still mini pedals, so. All right, so let's plug these in and we'll check them out. Here we go. All right guys, so here's what we did. We took uh, six of the pedals out of the 12 and we made ourselves a little pedal board. And so 
what we are going to do is, we'll just talk about how I kind of set it up. So I have a compressor first, the bunny compressor, the snake distortion, a cattle fuzz, that's what it's called. This is an overdrive. It's a is that chicken, the delay and the reverb. So we're gonna just kind of go one at a time and uh, We'll just kind of turn these on one at a time, see what they sound like, and then we'll kind of turn them on how I would use them, you know, uh, in a live setting. This is my clean tone. All right, so let's turn the compressor on. Turn the distortion on. Uh, the compressor kind of changes. The compressor changes the tone of the pedals. I don't know how much I like that. I like a transparent compressor that compresses but makes the sound better, like a one of those leave-on type of compressors. Like a Keeley. That compressor. Azor is not paying me to say what... Azor's not paying me so I can say whatever I want, so... Literally, I really don't like that compressor. It just makes it kind of sound thin and uninspiring. I do like this distortion. It's a good Marshall-esque kind of sounding distortion. All right, let's try this cattle fuzz. <laughs> fuzz uh like affordable fuzz pedals you can get i can kind of tell that i like that fuzz all right let's try the overdrive CD. Yeah, it's an OCD. It's the chicken OCD. All right, let's turn a delay on. Darker delay, maybe tape sounding. I like that. that. 
turn up a little bit. <laughs> reverb reminds me of the Azor Brown reverb that they Azor had. I did a video on it like a couple years ago and then they sent me like a hundred of them and I've just been kind of giving them away. Um, this sounds like that reverb pedal but they added a tone control. Well, maybe the other one had a tone control. It's kind of a spring reverb with a tone control. Delay back on. Let's see what the compressor sounds like with that overdrive. I wonder if you could just use this compressor as a boost. again I really like the distortion in the fuzz let me go back to the overdrive let's see if we can get a sound we want out of this let's see um these pedals are I haven't looked on Amazon yet um, but I will put some links to these in the description of this video if you're interested in these these are the ones that I jumped to first the ones I did not look at was the Tiger Overdrive the Leon Drive the Chorus 
the Unicorn Horse Drive, whatever it is, and the Dog Distortion. So let's change up the pedal board real quick and let's look at those ones real quick. Here we go. All right, guys, so the only one we haven't checked out yet is the the tuner pedal, which I'm not gonna check out. I may use it on one of my boards eventually and see how well it tunes. It's a tuner pedal. Hopefully it works. Uh, here's my clean sound. I'm leaving the... I'm leaving the reverb on the end here on the board. So this pedal right here, um, the Dragon Reverb. But let's start with the pedal to all the way to the uh, right, which is called the Dog Distortion. <laughs> actually that's kind of like a let's crank it up <laughs> it's more vintagey sounding and like more voxy sounding maybe of a distortion all right next one is the leon drive and i actually have this in one of the smaller azor pedals <laughs> It's got a low and a high pass on it, so let's crank up the gain a little bit. Here's the low. Here's the high. kind of like this, just a souped up uh, tube screamer. All right, I, I like it, I dig it. Uh, this one is called the Horse Overdrive. So not quite as much gain. reminds me more of a tube screamer. Just the whole three knob thing. Let's turn the tone up a little bit. Pretty good. Let's go to the Tiger Overdrive. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Let me know which one you like the most. I really dug a lot of the overdrives. I'm not a big fan of the reverb and delay pedal they have. Um, the chorus sounded really good too as well, but all their drive pedals sound great. You could use those for different tones. And in fact, it'd be great to have just a board full of overdrives that you could just pick and choose while you're playing live. Um, anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Rich Bischoff, and we will see you at the next video. Adios.